Hello, my dear students. Welcome back to another video lessons. Today we will learn class 5 English on a topic the selfish giant 2. So in the previous class we have learned about the selfish giant 1. So today we will learn about the selfish giant 2 from lesson number 13, page number 83. So my dear students, please take out your books and open page number 83 from lesson number 13. Okay, now my dear student, let me explain the, these chapters from the first paragraph. Okay, now we have learned in the previous class that the giant was too selfish. So in his garden, the season like Adam and the spring did not visit his garden, even the birds. And his gardens were covered with the snow. It was always a winter. So in this chapter, we will learn that the spring has come to his garden, to the giant's garden. Okay, one morning the giant was lying awake in his bed and suddenly he heard lovely music. It was sweet and melodious. It was a song of little birds. See? So one morning when giant was lying awake in his bed, he suddenly heard lovely music. So the music was so sweet and melodious. And the music was whose? It was a song of a little birds. So now the giant he told to himself that oh the spring has come at last. So now he leaped out of the bed and looked out. So when he leaped out from his bed and looked out, he saw something marvelous. See? He saw something very uh, magnificent things in his gardens. So what did he saw the marvelous things? that the tree in his gardens were full of fine blossoms and then the flowers, the plants were covered with flowers. The birds were flying above and singing, see. So before there was, uh, there was no new branches and no new leaves in the, uh, on the trees and then no flowers were bloomed. But then when he woke up in the next morning, what did he found? He found that all the plants were with new leaves, new branches and the flowers were all bloom and then even the birds were flying here and there and above the sky and then they were singing. So now he himself, he told to himself that snow was nowhere to be seen now, see north wind had stopped growing, see hailstorm had dis disappeared, winter was gone, spring had come, see he told to him that when he saw his gardens, the beautiful gardens, the marvelous things happened in his gardens, he, he, he think that, oh, now the snow has nowhere to be seen now. And even the north wind has stopped. And hell storm has disappeared from my gardens and then the window was gone. So now the spring had come to my garden, see. So it was a lovely scene. So now the giant was, was delighted. He was so happy by seeing his gardens with the beautiful flowers and plants and the birds. Then he noticed that there were boys on every tree. They had come through a hole in the wall. They had brought the spring. They had brought the chain. See? So he was so happy and then what did he notice when he looked again? He noticed that there were boys on every tree. See? Before the ch he did not allow the children to play but then now the spring also had came and then the flowers, the trees, all were beautiful, looks beautiful, the snow has gone. So at last what did he notice? He noticed that the boys were on every tree on in his gardens and then they had come through a hole in the wall. So there was a hole in the wall so from there the boys came to his garden. So now the giant's garden has changed the spring has gone the north wind has stopped and then the hell storm has disappeared so now even the boys also came to his gardens and then the spring seasons also came to his garden so now in the next paragraph but then in one corner it was still winter so when he looked around his gardens in one corner it was still winter so he wondered why why it was still winter then 
Soon he understood that the reason why it was still winter in one corner of his garden. Then when he saw that a little boy was standing under a tree crying, see, there was a little boy who could not climb the trees. So he, the little boy was too small to climb the trees. So the poor trees was still covered with frost and snow, see. The boy could not climb up the tree because the boy, the little boy under the tree was too small to climb up a tree. So the poor tree was still covered with frost and snow. So north wind was also blowing and roaring above it. So now what happened? Climb up, little boy, I am bending, said the tree, see. So the little boy was crying under the tree because he could not climb up. So now what did the tree told to the little boy? The tree told to the little boy that I am bending, my dear, see. And it bent its branches as low as it could, see. So now the trees also want the spring season. So now the trees said to the boy that I am bending as much as low as I could. So now he asked the trees, asked the boy to climb up. But then the boy was too young to climb by himself. So the tree was covered with frost and snow and still the north wind was blowing and roaring. So now the selfish giant. The selfish giant heart was melted from there. The sin melted the heart of the giant. See. So the boys also came and then the spring also came. So now he know that how selfish I was and I have been. See, he was asking to himself that how selfish I have been. Now I know why the spring did not come to my garden. See, now the, the selfish giant he understood that why the spring season did not come to his garden because he was selfish. So now what he told to himself, he told to himself that I will pull down the wall and then my garden will be the children's playground forever. See. The selfish giant, now he understood that, now he realized that how selfish he was. Now he came to know that how selfish he was. He was selfish so the autumn seasons, the spring season did not visit his garden. So when the boys enter his gardens, the spring also came and then the, the gardens were looks beautiful. So now the giant told to himself that now I will make my garden as children's playground forever see. Now he was really sorry for what he had done to the children. Now the selfish giant he realized and then he feels sorry for what he had done and then now he is going to make his beautiful garden as a children's playground forever. Now so he went downstairs and came into the garden. But when the children saw him coming, they quickly climbed down and ran away. Winter came back at once. So now the giant, he was looking from the window and then he saw that the little boy was crying under a tree and then the, the tree was covered, still covered with the snow. And the other tree which the children were the boys were climbing, there were a blossom of flowers and fruits and the new branches and new leaves in the tree. So now he climbed down. He went downstairs and then he came into the gardens. But then what happened? When he came down into the garden, the children saw him coming. So the children they quickly climbed down and then ran away. They, all the children they climbed down from the trees and then they ran away. Soon right after the children ran away, the winter came back at once. See. So now, right after the boys ran away, winter came back at the garden at once. So snow and frost returned immediately to the garden. So the little boy did not see him coming. The little boy did not notice that the giant was coming. So the giant slowly crept from behind. See, the giant slowly came from behind near the little boy and then he lifted him up gently and then he put him up on the trees. Then the trees at once burst into blossom. See, so the the trees also needed the children, the boys, so that the spring came. 
The birds came flying above the tree. The little boy was now happy. Then the little boy he stretched out his arms around the neck of the giant and then he kissed him. So when the, the little boy kissed him, the little boy kissed the giant. Then when the other children saw that the giant had become kind and gentle, they all came running in. See, so now the giant become gentle and kind to the children. So the now the children also came running in near him. So with them came spring again. See, so right after the children came running near him in the gardens. The spring also came again. The trees was once again full of fresh leaves, flowers, plants also smiled. Birds clapped their wings in joy. See, so with children only the gardens also looks beautiful, and then the spring also came. So when the children came to know that the giant become gentle and kind, they also came running to the running to the garden. And they bring the spring back to the giant's garden. Even the flowers, plants, we all will smile, and then the birds also clap their wings in joy. So now it is your garden now, my dear children," said the giant. "So you are all free to play, run around, and enjoy the fruits. It is all yours." See, now the giant told to the children that now this garden is yours now. You can play, you can run freely, and then eat the fruits. Now it is all yours," he told the giants. Told to the children. So now, the giant told the children to play freely and to run around and enjoy the fruits. And then what did he do? He then knocked down the wall. Before he put a wall, he made a wall not to enter the children. But then. Now the spring also came along with the childrens. So now he himself he realized that how selfish I was. And then now what did he do? He gave the gardens to the childrens as their playground forever. And then he knocked down the wall also. Now the childrens they were all happy, and then they they visited his gardens every day. The childrens used to visit the giant's garden every day. And the giants also used to play with them and then enjoy their fun and games with the childrens. The giants now used to play and have fun with the childrens in the garden. But he always looked for the little boy whom he had put on the tree. The little boy was never there. See. So where is your little companion whom I had once put on the tree? Asked the giant. See. The uh, the giant asked that where is your little companion? Whom I had once put on a tree, on the tree, then the children answered that we don't know, we had never seen him before. See, we do not know where he lives. See, so now the little boy, the child, the other boy also, they don't know that where is the little boy, and where they, where the little boy live also they don't know. So now the children replied to that. Giants that we had never seen him before. We do not know where he lives. Also, then the giants look out for him every day. See, there was little boy that who could not climb up the trees. So now the giant look out for him every day. But then there was no sign of the little boy. And then the giant feel very sad when he could not find the little boy. He feel very sad. The giant feel very sad. Then he wanted to see his little friend. Now then he was, he wants to see that little boy. So now he he used to keep saying to himself that how to see him, how I will see him, how I will meet him. Then a years went by and then in the meanwhile the giant grew old and then feeble. He grew very old and then he could not walk properly also. Then now he could not play with the childrens and he sat on. An armchair and watch the childrens at play. See, so he he now he become old and then he could not play with the childrens. So he used to sit on an armchair and then watch the childrens playing at in his gardens. Then he used to say that how nice to have childrens around. They are the best flowers of my garden. See, the giant told to himself that how nice to have childrens around. Around these gardens, around these beautiful, 
and then they are the best flowers of these gardens of my gardens so the children's are the best flowers of my gardens he told to himself then one winter morning he looked out he looked out of the window and then he was dressing see he was dressing and then what did what happened suddenly he saw something lovely see so now what did he saw something so lovely so in the farthest corner of his garden the tree was covered with white blossoms see its branches were golden and silver fruits hung down from them underneath stood the little boy whom he loved see so now before he was wondering how to meet the little boy but then on one winter morning he was dressing up and then when he looked out from the window what did he saw something lovely in the farthest corner of his garden there was a tree covered with white blossom and then its branches were golden and silver fruits in that trees there was a golden branches and then silver fruits hang down from them then underneath under that tree what did he saw he saw that the little boy stood there the one whom he loved the one whom the one who he loved the most the little boy then the giant ran down in great joy see he was so happy to see the little boy and then he ran down with the happiness with joy the boy has come back my friend has come back to my garden said the giant as he ran down the stairs see so when he saw the little boy he was so happy and then he ran down the stairs and then he he told to himself that he said to himself that my friend has come back to my garden see then he has then across the meadow and come near the and came near the giant see so now he came near the giant the one who was willing to me so now he asks who are you my little one see who are you he don't know that who is the little giant so now he asks the little boy that who are you then the little child smiled at him and said that you allow me to play once in your garden today I am going to take you to my garden in paradise. We shall be playing there forever. So now, when he asked the child that, "Who are you?" Then the child he smiled at him and said to the giant, "Giant, that you allowed me to play once in your garden today. See, please allow me to play once in your garden for today." Then I'm I'm going to take you to my garden in paradise. We shall be playing there forever, see. So now the little boy told to the giant that we will we shall be playing there forever. That I am going to take you to my garden in paradise. We shall be playing there forever. So now the giant become too old and then now he is about to die. So the child the little boy told him that Let me play in your garden for today once. Then I am going to take you to the to my gardens in paradise, and then we shall be playing there forever. So now, what happened at the last moment? The giant met the little boy, and then the little mo- the little boy asked him to play to allow him to play in his gardens today for once, and then he told that he will take him to his gardens. to play with him forever in paradise that means the giants becomes too old and then it's time for him to die it has come the time to die for the the selfish giant the giant then when the children came in the afternoon to play in the gardens what did they found they found the giant's dead under at under the tree which was full of white blossoms so now the giants have died and then where are they, the children the boys they found him under the tree which was full of white blossoms so my dear students this is the end of the chapters for today and then it was adapted from the original story written by Oscar Wilde see the story is written by Oscar Wilde
and it was from the original story so the giant's gardens were beautiful with the children's only and now at last and the spring also came along with the children's only and then at the last moment what happened the giants the selfish giants also realized that how selfish he was and then he allowed the children's to play in his gardens and then he gave his gardens to the children's as their playground forever and now he passed away he died away so this is the end of the chapters for today Thank you.